today I am bringing you a special ketone testing video. I am going to be testing a new bread. So I want to test my ketones now and see where I'm at. Okay. Oh my gosh, gizmo. Point three. So I'm going to go ahead and test this product. Okay, so I have my boyfriend here with me because some of you said that you were interested in seeing him do a taste test with me. So he is going to test these low carb breads with me. This one I found at Sprouts. Um, I got the regular white bread. And then this is like a multi seed. So we will try these uncooked first like raw and then we'll try them toasted wow i really like your chompy spread so okay so it's a pretty thick slice i'll get into the macros and ingredients in a minute but it's a pretty thick slice looks like a real piece of bread it smells pretty real let me take a whiff it smells real yeah it's a real real it's not incredibly seedy, which I really like. So let's go ahead and give it a try. You want to do it at the same time? Sure. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> this is just supposed to be a plain white bread, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like I got too much crust. It's very thick, chewy. I feel like it's just a normal piece of bread, like a, like a Wonder Bread, you know? Holy just, cow. Just plain white bread. That's really great. Yeah. So it's it's nice and pliable. Um, how would you say the taste is? How do you describe white bread? It, it tastes like a piece of white bread. Like it just, there's nothing funky about the taste or anything. I think it has a little hint of like sourdough to it. Oh yeah, I could see try that. again. Yeah. I guess I could see that. But. It's very subtle. It's not, it doesn't taste like sourdough, but it just has a little hint. Cause like white bread in my mind doesn't really taste like anything. It's just soft. Um, but it's just, it's not a hundred percent flavorless mm -hmm. yeah. is my point. The crust is kind of harder though than I would say a normal bread, yeah. but that's, that's kind of how the Aldi bread was is just like the crust. It's, it's a lot softer than the Aldi bread crust. Because all the bread crust I felt like was more like plastic. This is not like that. It's just more of a harder crust. It's still like a bread crust. Maybe like uh, comparable to if you had a loaf of bread for an extended period of time and the, the, um, the crust kind of gets harder. Not really like, like it's fake which I feel like is the Aldi situation. So this loaf was cut a little differently. On the other loaf I pulled the second piece from the front. This is the third piece from the front. So it was just cut a little bit differently. Um, so these are one of the beginning pieces, but it's still substantial um, as far as thickness goes. This one is obviously more seedy. It definitely has multiple seeds. Let me try this. Um, my thoughts are, I feel like the taste of the seeds is very pungent and kind of overpowers the bread and I, I don't really like that we like seedy bread though but that yeah that was different though i haven't looked at the ingredients yet but this looks like it has psyllium husk in it which you actually like psyllium husk um i think it tastes like a wheat bread but it obviously has hard seeds in it too i think if you like wheat um, this is a good option because it doesn't taste like white bread. It tastes like wheat. You want to try again? Sure. Any other thoughts? No, I agree with you. It tastes like the wheat bread, but I'm not really liking the seeds on this, on this. I don't yeah, know why. it has quite a bit of seeds. Looks like poppy seeds. No, not poppy seeds. Sesame seeds. It looks like it has black sesame seeds, but then also like, I don't know. It kind of looks like sunflower seeds. Oh yeah. And then it has some sunflower seeds. Huh. I don't know if you can see that. But, okay, I'm going to go ahead and toast these, and then we'll try it toasted. Okay, so I toasted these up. Um, you obviously could toast these more. I just wanted it a little crispy. 
Didn't want them to burn for sure. Um, but they, some keto breads toast really, really easily. Like the Franz keto bread toasts really quickly. So you have to put it on like your lowest setting. These, I actually had to toast twice because it didn't toast the first time uh, that I had it on like a two. So um, this one, I put them in for the same time and this one really isn't toasted at all. You can feel that it's like crispy on the outside, but anyways, these, it seems like you can toast pretty close to the same way you would toast re regular bread. So, uh, I'll try this one first. Yeah, that, we just tried the white bread. Yeah, it's uh, very, very bland. Yeah. Um, um, I guess yeah. that's to be expected, you know. Yeah. And uh, I feel like I could taste the, the burned a little too much. Burned. Yeah, you know the crisp from the toaster. Hmm. Maybe I just haven't had bread in a while. I really didn't toast this that much. So you don't like it toasted? Yeah, I didn't really care for it toasted. You liked it better untoasted? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think this makes for perfect toast. I think it toasted up perfectly. It's still a little soft on the inside, so I feel like I could have toasted it more. Um, but it's not dry. It's still, like, squishy mm -hmm. on the inside. Um, because I know the Franz bread is, like, styrofoam when you toast it. So Ooh. this I actually really like toasted. I feel like this tastes like a regular piece of toast. Okay, so now we'll try the... Multi seed. I feel like that one has a better flavor now that it's toasted. And I think it has a worse flavor now that it's toasted. Whoa. I feel like the uh, seed flavor is kind of brought out with it being toasted. You think? And I think the opposite. Wow. I feel like the seed flavor went down. Wow. Remember I said the seed flavor was too much? Now yeah. I think it went down and now it's great. Yeah, I think the opposite. Yeah, I like that better. And I don't. I like the the white one. I think these are great options, though. <clears throat> if you like seedy bread, I think the seed one could be good. And I think this is a great white bread. I don't know how it's going to affect my ketones, though. Mm. So I will check back in an hour after I finish this, and then we'll see what happens. But I'll go over the ingredients and the macros in the meantime. Tell them what you just told me. It's my favorite keto bread that I've tried. <laughs> I didn't think that he liked it all that much, but he said... I did. I really liked the white bread, and then I liked the seedy bread after it was toasted. There you have it. His favorite. It me. Yeah. What breads have you had before? Chompies. The one from Grocery Outlet we found that one time. Oh, the Oasis bread. Mm-hmm. You did try the Aldi's bread, you just don't, I don't remember, remember it. Yeah. Must have not been that good. It wasn't. Okay, thank you. See ya. Okay, now I will go over the macros and ingredients. Oh, it says 100% plant-based. But, I mean, there's not typically meat in these. So, here's the macros. This is for the white bread. One slice is 80 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, 9 total carbs, 7 dietary fiber, so 2 net carbs, and 7 grams of protein. The ingredients include wheat protein, resistant potato starch, flax meal, bamboo fiber, a high oleic sunflower oil, yeast cultured wheat starch, psyllium husk, pea fiber, Salt, citric acid, whole wheat flour, and ascorbic acid. So I've never had a bread with potato starch in it. So I don't know how that's going to affect my ketones. I'm really interested in finding out though. Um, so yeah, I think the... I was probably picking up on the yeast that was in there. It also has whole wheat flour, but it's towards the end. So I'm really interested in seeing what this ketone test is going to be like because I really I have no idea how it's going to react. For the multi-seed, one slice is 80 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, 8 total carbs, 6 dietary fiber, 
Uh, so two net carbs and six grams of protein. The first ingredient is wheat protein. Second, potato starch, flax meal, bamboo fiber, hyaluric, sunflower oil, sesame seeds, yeast, psyllium husk, cultured wheat starch, sunflower seeds, pea fiber, um, salt, citric acid, whole wheat flour, and ascorbic acid. So this one actually has wheat uh, in the first ingredient. So the slice that I think I had the most of was the white bread. So I think the white bread is probably going to be more reflective of my ketone results, but I think I'll probably do a clean ketone test um, to show just the, the white bread and just the wheat bread. But I'll come back in an hour and see what my ketone tests are like then. Okay, I know I have changed, but it's the same day. It's been 45 minutes, and I want to test my ketones now because I'm hungry. I'm going to do another ketone test just to show only the white bread um, because I think the white bread and the wheat bread is going to be a little bit of a different reaction. So, Okay, so it was 0.3 45 minutes ago. Okay, so it did go down by 0.2. I'm going to do another fresh ketone test um, either later today or tomorrow um, to get kind of a clearer result with the white bread only. Okay, so I'm going to try another ketone test and see what happens. Um, I haven't eaten anything today. It is 11 a.m. Let's see. So while that is counting down, I did have a sandwich with the white bread and it was really good. Reminds me of French bread, kind of. Point two. Okay. I am going to have one slice of the um, white bread still just because so with chompies chompies usually raises my ketones so if this lowers my ketones basically I'll be at point one or no reading so I'm going to have one slice of the white bread now and then I'll test my ketones in an hour Okay, it has been a little more than 45 minutes um, since I had one slice of the white bread. I am going to test my ketones now. They were last at 0.2. Okay. Okay, so they get, did go down, but just a little bit. So I think I'll do another ketone test probably on a different day for um, the wheat kind of multi-seed one just to see if that result is any different. 